Cyprus is heading to Liverpool 2023 with Andrew Lambro and Break a Broken Heart. But will we be broken hearted if this one doesn't do too well? So yeah, Cyprus is heading to Eurovision this year with Andrew Lambro and Break a Broken Heart. Now, last year, Cyprus didn't qualify for the final. Um, so will they be changed their look around this year? Let's have a little listen to this year's entry. So that's a bit of Cyprus's entry um, for this year. Jack, what do you make of it? I do quite like it. It's nothing massively groundbreaking. We've heard this sort of big male romantic-y ballad thing before. Um, but it's probably the best male ballad of the year, probably. Um, and it does stick in your hairs. I mean, that whole, the, the chorus is quite rhythmic and it's quite um, almost lullaby-like. Um, and it does stick in your head quite easily. And then his high-pitched vocal is quite memorable. Um, and he can sing. He can sing. Um, there was, a, a, funny enough, I was scrolling through TikTok a few days ago, and there was somebody do, and it was uh, there was a figure skater doing a rehearsal to this song, and it read the song was like whoa, I was like oh my god, and I looked at who it was, and it was a cover that he did, so it was a, a very pleasant surprise to find out that it was Andrew Lambrew. Um, so he can clearly sing. Obviously, having notes that high quite often during a song is a stretch. Um, Hopefully he can do it. Otherwise, he's going to do an an Isaiah fire brace from Australia and just bomb. And hopefully that's not the case. But it, yeah, it's a decent enough song. And I'm quite glad that Cyprus has finally broken away from the 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 mold a little bit here. They realised something worked with Fuego and have been banging that drum ever since. Um, so they've gone for something a little bit different, and I think it it should pay off. So yeah, it's a solid entry from Cyprus. Yeah, no, I I agree. It's it's definitely I think the strongest kind of male ballad that we have. You're right. It, there is nothing kind of particularly groundbreaking about it, and but I mean he does seem quite comfortable hitting those kind of notes. So I'm I'm not too concerned about that. And I feel like after um, last year with um, Andre Marche, because she kind of struggled to hit those notes, you and to sing live, I. I'm hoping that Cyprus is going to be kind of super careful in making sure that they pick someone who, you know, who can sing live, essentially. Um, and you know, I... We did a cover of Ella a few days ago, and I, having just been like, he can sing, he can sing, he couldn't quite sing that. So some of the comments were quite cruel that was like, that makes two shippery entrants that can't sing that <laughs> song. <laughs> it was a quite cruel, but yeah, carry on, sorry. Yeah, no, I mean... That yeah, last year's hot mess aside, Cyprus had definitely got kind of like a reputation for sending kind of like female commercial pop songs, which it was it was getting a bit repetitive. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Fuego and I love Replay. I think those are absolute bangers. But you know, you you do want to see kind of a bit of variety, so it's nice that they're kind of sending something, um, something a bit different to what they usually send. Not different in terms of you know musically it's it's extremely mainstream but yeah it's it's a really nice ballad and he sings it well so i'm kind of hopeful now um they're going to be in the second semi-final they're going in sixth um do you think it's going to qualify and where would you kind of rank it personally uh so my score out of 10 first of all is going to be a seven i think it's very solid uh yeah that's hoping he can sing it on the night. It's obviously quite a vocally challenging song. Um, I do think this will qualify. As I've said in previous videos, the second semi-final is a tricky one because you can sort of make a case for every song and making it through in some scenario. In most scenarios, this gets through because I think he, you know, he's good looking. It's a commercial enough song. It's the type of thing you hear on the radio. I think it's accessible to enough people. Um and it might actually do all right in the final. If if he can sing it, the juries will probably get behind it. Televote will give it enough. I think it might come mid-table. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it's kind of a it's a it's pleasing on kind of it's televote friendly and it's and it's jury friendly, providing he sings it well. Um 
I yeah, I can't see it not getting through to the final and hopefully it kind of does all right there. Um for me personally it's an eight point five out Ooh, of ten. That's very yeah. high. I know. I I Why is it that high? <laughs> I Not just that I'm questioning it. your judgment, but why is it that high? Maybe I feel like I'm just always a fan of Cypress because even last year I loved Ella when we heard the kind of studio version. So clearly, I just like to fly the flag, flag for Cypress. Um, but yeah, She's I just think it's like one of the kind of better ballads at this year's contest, and it's you know it's it's just such a nice, easy listen. Like there's nothing in there that kind of grates or jars on you because it's just kind of a good pop song done well, essentially. So, yeah. Well, there we go. There we go. It's pleasing, she says. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's what we think. Do let us know what you think. The comments are open. Uh, like, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, hit the bell. You'll get notified every time we upload new content. And... We're also on Instagram, at Review Revision, so like the shit out of our posts. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.